a lot does grow in the dark. I've been coming here for 14, 15 years. But um, I actually fell in the river one time. I got caught in the currents. I had to get a hepatitis shot the next day. This place can be very dangerous at times. The freeway people can see you, CHP, the helicopters, and the Amtrak. It's a strange place. It's just kind of like some no man's land. A lot of texture, I guess. That's my number one insecurity right there, and this is where I spilled the five gallons, and I just broke down that night. I beat the bucket for like 45 minutes. I throw a few fits over this fucking piece. Right now we are in the LA River on my old piece I did in 1997. Roughly about 55 feet tall by almost 250 feet across. By the end, it took about 126 gallons of rolling paint. It took me about maybe 35 nights to paint this thing. Actually, I blew my knee out on this piece. All the time on the slant, I created a groove in the cartilage, so I had to get uh, surgery on my knee. I think the outline will hold uh, at least under 10 years, but you know, this environment it gets so much sun, it gets so hot, all this paint just gets baked every day. Originally, when I finished it, it was 97 gallons, but uh, some asshole came from New York to diss it, so I came back and uh, did the outline. In the long run, I'm actually really glad he did that because it humbled me. And the other thing is it gave me so much freaking fame in New York that it revitalized my you know, presence. I wish it looked like it did the day I finished it, but... I guess it's a blessing that it's still even here at this point, you know?